Hey there, productive people. I have some exciting news to share today. Notion has just released a new standalone application called Notion Calendar. And this app allows you to bring your Notion pages and your Google Calendar events into one unified experience. Notion Calendar even allows you to create recurring events. And the best part is this is a free add-on feature to Notion as of right now. Today, I'm going to show you how to connect your Notion account and your Google Calendar account to Notion Calendar so that you can view them alongside each other in one unified app. I'll also be sharing how to connect your Zoom account, how to create recurring tasks, and even some additional styling and interface tips that are going to help you get along better when using Notion Calendar. To get to this Notion Calendar app, you're just going to type calendar.notion.so into your address bar and hit enter. If you don't already have a Cron Calendar account, which has actually been rebranded to this Notion Calendar app, you're probably going to need to go through some steps to get this started. If you don't have your Google Calendar connected already, or if you want to add more Google Calendars to this same area here, you can just go to add calendar account. From here, it lists out the integrations that we'll be going over today, calendars, conferencing, and Notion. If you want to connect a new Google Calendar account, you're just going to click connect. Then hit continue to Google permissions, select the calendar that you want to connect, select all, and scroll down and hit continue. Now, if I close this, you'll see that my calendar events from the hello at greenlinemediasolutions.com calendar have been connected. And I only have this one here work out for 45 minutes. And this is a recurring event. If I want to hide this or I want to make it reappear, I can select what I want to hide and what I want to show over here on the left hand sidebar. So if I would just want to hide my main calendar, I can just hide it using that little eye toggle right there or I can bring it back into view. I'm just going to hide this new calendar that I added right now. And let's bring in the holidays in the United States. Next, let's go ahead and connect our Notion pages so that they sync up with this Notion calendar. Now, if I want to connect my Notion pages, I should head over to Notion. And right now I'm in my productive brain template where I have a calendar already pre-built into Notion. And if you guys want to purchase this, you can purchase it using the link below. This is my template that has planning, processing, focusing. It's not necessary for this. If you wanted to make this work for you, you would just have to create a calendar view inside of Notion. But once you've created your calendar view, you'll get this button that says open in calendar. And now if I hit open in calendar, it's going to open up my Notion calendar and it's going to bring in that database right down here. If I want to make it appear in my calendar, I can just toggle this little eye here and it will bring in all of my events that are on my calendar layout here in Notion into the Notion calendar app. Now, if I want to drag these around like this film integrations modules, I can just drag that over to the 31st. And if I head back over to Notion, you'll see that it just moved to the 31st. So this is a very quick and responsive sync. Now, if I move this back to the 30th and I head right back over to my calendar. And as you can see, it just jumped back over to the 30th. Now, let's say that I wanted to open something up directly in Notion, like this video that I'm filming today on Notion Calendar. To open this up, I could just click onto it and then over here it says open in Notion. I can just hit open in Notion and it's going to open up the exact page for this task. Since I'm filming this task right now, I have a list of things that I wanted to cover in this video. So these bullet points can pop up directly from that link that I clicked inside of Notion Calendar. Once I'm done with this task, I can hit complete. And then if I head back over to my Notion Calendar, you'll see that it disappears out of my Notion Calendar because of the way that I have this template set up. This is all free and easy to do using filtering in Notion. The filters that apply to your Notion databases will apply to your Notion calendar events. And that's the beauty of this. You can have these things filtered out based on specific scenarios, like them being completed. As you can see, all of my tasks have a little blue check mark next to them. 
So if I wanted to match that blue check mark with the color of my calendar events here, I could click on my tasks right here and I could change it from purple to blue. Now, as you can see, everything is color coded and it's easy to tell where everything came from. The red things came from my main calendar where I have different consulting calls booked. The green items are the holidays in the United States. And then the blue items are my tasks that are synced in from Notion. If I wanted to see a weekly view in Notion calendar, I can click on this view up here and I can change it to week. I can also change this to day if I want it to pull into the exact day. And this makes it super easy to quickly track different things in here. Let's say I wanted to add an event to my Notion calendar. Just from here, I could just click into this section and drag, and I could create an event for 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. And then I could give it a title. So let's just name this test event. And actually, let's just drag this up to the current time so that I'm not in the past. So 4 to 5 p.m. Now let's head back over to Notion. And as you can see, that test event has been added. If I refresh, it should update the time as well to 4 p.m., as you can see here. And then once again, once one of these filters, like this one here, that is marking everything that is not complete to not show up on the calendar is activated, like so, that will disappear here. And again, it will disappear in my Notion calendar. I may need to throw a refresh or wait for a little while, but eventually that event will disappear. Now, what about connecting conferencing links to your Notion calendar? This is possible as well using their Zoom integration or their Google Meet integration. I'm going to be showing you how to set this up with Zoom meetings. I'm gonna go back to my monthly view then I'm going to click on my little profile picture up here and hit settings. From here, I'm gonna to go to conferencing and I'm going to hit connect next to add Zoom to events. Now I can just select the account that I want to connect via Zoom. And then I can hit allow this app to use my shared access permissions and hit allow. Now this is connected up with Zoom. So if I wanted to add conferencing to my meetings, I can just click into any of these sections here and I can change the calendar to one of my Google Calendar enabled events. And here I can select conferencing and I can select either Zoom or Google Meet, which is pre-integrated since this is a Google Calendar. So if I hit Zoom here, it's just going to create a Zoom link right off the bat and it's super easy and quick to set up. Then I could give this a title. Let's just call it meet with John and I could give it a day and we can change the time right here as well. Another way to change the time as I showed you previously is just to go to the day view. And from here, you can just find that event just by toggling between the days. And once you find it, you can just drag it wherever you want on your calendar and it's seamless and beautiful. I can also change the time that's actually blocked out for this meeting and it will dynamically update. Let's go back to the month view. Now, what about adding recurring tasks inside of my Notion calendar? To do this, you're just going to click into an empty day and you unfortunately cannot add recurring tasks to this Notion database. Same with the conferencing links. I'm hoping that you'll be able to do this in the future, but for now, you'll have to choose one of your Google Calendar enabled tasks and then right here where it says repeat, you can select the conditions for when you want it to repeat. So you could do every two weeks on Sunday, for instance, or you could go to custom right here. And custom allows you to create a lot more of a flexible repetition. So let's say every week on Sunday and after five times it ends. You can also have it never end, but for now, I'm just going to say after five times and hit done. Now it's going to populate in five of these events and I can go ahead and give it a title and it will update for all of those events. Notion Calendar is also available as an app on your phone. So now you'll see Notion Calendar alongside Notion. If you had the Cron Calendar app before, it's already been rebranded to Notion Calendar. So if you can't find Cron in your search, that's why. 
If you don't have this app yet, make sure to download it and start using it alongside Notion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see Notion continue to improve their Notion calendar app. But so far, it looks very promising what they're doing by integrating this directly with Notion. Let me know what you think in the comments below, like this video if you enjoyed, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest Notion updates.